what, what is one of your favorite movies? I'm sure you're asked that question a lot. You mean mine? Of mine yeah, or of yours that you made? Well, I think more in terms of sequences. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this Saturday, I have a retrospective, A Night with Meyer, Six Hours with Meyer in Los Angeles. Right. Uh, the American Cinematheque Directors okay. Guild, and I'll show, to begin with, a picture called Vixen that I made in 1969 that made myself very secure financially. It was uh -huh. a big, big success. Now that was released, then, okay. No, I was just going to ask you, that was released in theaters, correct? Like a main All my theaters have okay. been, uh, films have been released in theaters. Yeah, right. absolutely. All my films have been released okay. in theaters. This film uh, grossed in excess of $21 million. Oh, my goodness. No cult film does that. Yeah, that's right. It definitely is mainstream. Yeah, yeah. So uh, then we'll have three hours of uh, clips in mm -hmm. which I'll talk, and I'll have some of my pneumatic actresses there. Ah. And then we'll follow the uh, show in the evening mm -hmm. with Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, a film that I'm very ah. proud of that I did sure. with, along with Roger Ebert, right. the known critic. We just, I just returned from Russia, in which I showed that film together with two others. They two, a lot of them. tumult uh -huh. and shouting. <laughs> I mean, we had to ply them, really pry them off the ceiling. We, instead of we had been scheduled for three, screenings but instead they gave us nine they gave you nine mm -hmm. that's great yeah I, I, a few questions on my mind there's a lot of questions but uh the one i, I want to ask you is how do you find your girls i mean do you audition them or do you do you, you know special talent hunts or it's agonizing it's always generally boils down to finding just one girl that will fill the bill uh, or fill the uh, the cup as we say <laughs> right? a little, little fun there right yeah. Okay, so so have you had problems lately farming girls? I mean, no, no. More and more ladies now with larger bosoms. A lot of them um, are accentuated, you uh -huh. know, uh, through operations. But I have no negativism about that. Okay. I, I took a girl with me, Miss Melissa Mounds, who uh -huh. frequently plays in New Orleans. Right. She is stupefying. I mean, the girl Jeez. casts an incredible shadow. Oh, my goodness. I mean, goodness. she's never seen her feet in the last six months <laughs> since she had this adjustment. Oh, Lord. So, naturally, uh, she would go up on stage with me, uh -huh. and the Russians really flipped out with her uh, tremendous overbite. That's right. Uh, <laughs> a large balcony. You put balcony. that in a nice way, right? Yeah, you yeah, did. You, yeah. Russ, I was just curious, and I won't keep it too long. No, no, it's busy. all right. We talked for hours. Oh, great. Okay. Um, how did you, when you first got started, you know, making the pictures, how did you come up with this idea? I mean, again, was it your obsession? No, well, I had a good background shooting for magazines like Playboy. I did ah, six center poles. Uh -huh. I was married to Eve Meyer, a girl from Atlanta, Georgia, who had a great body, looked like Marilyn Monroe. Right. So we used a lot of shooting together, and we made ah. a lot of money shooting yeah. pictures for magazines. The consternation of her family, they were all Baptists. They didn't like the idea of me exposing their daughter to the world, as it were. But we liked to do it because uh, it was very exciting. I mean, as soon as we started shooting, we'd get it on, man mm -hmm. and wife.